Okay, welcome to episode 6 of Archbang Boot Camp. This episode will complete our base system. Today, I'm going to install Wake Terminal. I don't like the terminal that comes with Archbang, and I'd like it to have a nice terminal that I can copy and paste text into. Also, we are going to add the Arch user repository system. That way you can get just about any package you want out there. And I'm also going to do a demonstration of it. And then finally we are going to change the slim theme or the login manager theme that comes with Archbang. And we're going to do all of that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. As with every episode that I've been doing, I always make sure that we have um, the Arch Linux website up. There are two things you're going to need to look up. You're going to need to look up Slim. This is the documentation for the login manager. I'm only going to theme it if you want to be able to do more things with it, then you're going to need to RTFM. I had somebody ask me, what does RTFM mean? That means read the full manual, okay? All right, now, also, information on Yoort is here. This will give you what you will need to make sure that you can run it, and then there are instructions you're going to have to click to go here. I'm going to demonstrate these instructions in this episode. Moving right along. Okay, now, let's go ahead and get a new terminal. This terminal uh, that comes with this is absolutely horrible. So, I'm going to press Super T. Okay, now, we're going to need to make sure we're root, sudo su. Then we're going to type in pacman dash capital S quick G U A K E. Yes. Now it's ready for me to use. We can close this window. Now activate it. Alt F2. And then type in Quake. G-U-A-K-E. Little notifier will tell you that it's ready. F12 activates it. Zip, bada, boom. Let's enable the Arch user repositories. This isn't hard at all. First, we need to make sure that we have the um, right tools. So we're going to issue this command into the terminal. Let's zoom in on that so you can see what it is. Pacman hyphen s base dash devel. This is already installed. Why don't we be root first? sudo su and of course I'm going to select all by pressing enter. Yes. And it didn't really upgrade anything because we already have it installed here. Now, what we need to do is we need to edit our Pac-Man configuration file because now we need to add another repository to it. So let's do that. Nano forward slash Etsy forward slash Pac-Man dot configuration. Da 
that is nano board slash etsy pacman dot configuration or dot conf whatever you want to call it i call it configuration all right nano now opens up and we need to add two lines we'll just go all the way to the bottom okay i'm just going to copy and paste these I know you're reading the documentation that I told you to look at, so you will be able to copy and paste these into the terminal if you installed GWAIC like I showed you. Okay, now, control X to exit for yes and enter to leave. Now we need to install Yaourt. So we're going to issue Pac-Man hyphen capital S lowercase y Yaourt. Y-A-O-U-R-T. That is that stands for yet another user. Yeah, yet another yet another user resource tool or something like that. I think that's what it means. Okay, let's install it. Okay, and then we will press Y for yes. Excellent. All right, now that has been installed. In the later episode, we will use something uh, from Yawart and install it. has colors. Read the documentation, it'll tell you what to do. Okay, you'll notice we had a theme that uh, for our login manager. Let's exit and have a look at it. We're just going to log out. Pretty login theme, actually. I think it's nice if you want to keep it. You don't have to change this. I, on the other hand, wanted to change it. So, let's go back into the system. If you want Quake to run at the beginning, right click on your desktop, go to Preferences, Open box config and edit auto start. Okay, and then we will add Quake into this list. G U A K E space and the and sign. File save. Now, obviously, it didn't auto run, so press Alt F2 and run it again. Good. Now, 
before I go ahead and install themes, why don't I go ahead and give you an example of how Yaward works. Let's um, do a search in Yaward, Y-A-O-U-R-T, and see if there's a game in here. Okay, we have a number of them listed. Look at the nice colorful props this gives us as well. Okay, we'll select number 14, Minesweeper. Now I'm assuming the red lettering means it's probably uh, abandoned, but that doesn't mean we can't install it. It's downloading the package build. Do we want to edit the package build? Not really, but we may want to edit it if it doesn't work. I'm going to press no. Okay, it looks like this game requires way too many repositories um, and a lot of things that the AUR is going to build. This is going to take too much time to do, so I'm going to select no. Let's uh, see if we can find something that will be a little bit easier to install. Okay, let's try 19 in the list. No, we don't need to add the package build. Yes. Now what Yaward is doing is it's downloading the source files from the internet and it's compiling it for you. So that is one really nice thing about Arch. You don't have to do very much manual compiling if you don't want to. You can just get the package and you can see here it's going to ask if we're going to continue installing it. Sure. And it's going to take up 1.25 megs. Alright, we'll go ahead and we will close the terminal. Let's see if it updated our menu. Well, it looks like quite was added. But we can try and run it. I keep pressing my button with the terminal. So we'll just type in TT mine here. By the way, when you're running Yaward, you do not want to run it as root. It'll warn you. I've run it as root and I've never had any problems with it, but you really want to just run it as your regular user. Okay, and it looks like it's working. Okay and use arrow keys to navigate M to mark field is a mine plus press space to push your luck press Q to quit okay well I'm not understanding this but All right, I see it, it's asking to ask numbers and that sort of thing well sorry I just wanted to make sure it would install and it works. Something else I would like to point out. If you want to search for packages 
and there's something that is not in the repositories, in the main repository, you can just go into the AUR right here and do a search for it, okay? Also, you could search for packages. In Arch Linux, supported packages will be under the package tab here, and you can do a search for those items. If it's not in there, check out the AUR. So now you have two tools. You can install through Pac-Man, or you can install through Yaward. And pretty much, they'll get you just about any software you could possibly want. Probably more so than you would ever get from the Ubuntu software center repositories. This is a comprehensive repository system. Excellent. I absolutely love this. Okay, let's go back to our system here, and now let's go ahead and log in as root. So we're going to go su su no. helps if I learn how to type. Okay, now we're going to change the themes, we're going to go ahead and install two programs. And let me go ahead and copy and paste this line. Let me zoom in on this so you can see what you're getting. You have Pac-Man-S, Slim Themes, that's one application, and the next application is Arch Linux hyphen themes hyphen slim. This is how you install multiple packages. You just put the package name, add a space, and then put in the next package name and let you install them. Okay, yes. Doesn't take up much drive space at all. Good. Now, we need to edit nano slash etsy slash slim dot config. slash etsy slash slim dot config all right okay there are a number of themes that were installed I'm going to temporarily close this here because we're going to go ahead and navigate to where they are kept browse here there is a command right here in the documentation that allows you to preview it however when I attempted to uh, do the preview I had a little bit of difficulty getting it to display properly. So, I'm going to just navigate to the folder where these reside and look at the images. So let's do that. Alright, that is in SDA3, which is our root drive. User share. Slim themes. Okay, and we can actually just look at these right here. You can see we've got, um, this is the background PNG file that um, <clears throat> that it already uses. select something else if we want. We've got the Arch Linux dark gray. And I'm just quickly going through these. Um, how about Lake? Okay, why don't we go with that one? So, let's go ahead. Oh, wonky. 
and we will navigate down here. Okay, under default user, it's commented out right now. But the thing is, if you're the only person using your computer and you want to have a name populated in that field, you can change that. So let's do that real quick. I'll type in Spatry. And we'll uncomment it out. Okay. And then under current theme here, instead of Archbang, let's change that to Lake. Okay, then Alt X, Y, and Enter. Permission denied. Hmm. Why did I get permission denied on that? Let's uh, control X. No. Ah. Wasn't logged in as super user here. Let's go back down there and real quickly edit this. Okay, the th current theme we want is lake. And then of course we will uncomment out the default user. it, Y for yes, enter to save. Okay, now close this terminal. We will exit. Log out. Okay. Now we have a nice new login screen that we can use. Something else I would like to point out that you can do with this. Let's say at the login screen you want to reboot the computer. Under username you just type in reboot and then it will prompt you for the root password or your user password. Uh, you could also put in halt that will shut down the system because there are no buttons here. If you must have buttons, then maybe having the LXDE login manager would be something more to your liking, or you could have the GDM login manager, and all of that information is in the documentation on how to install and getting those working for you. Okay, we've covered a lot of ground here today. Let's just make sure this is working. All right, so we've installed Wake Terminal, which allowed us to... Uh, be able to have a terminal that we could copy and paste text and everything into, which is uh, convenient. Okay, we also uh, we also made sure we had development packages installed. We uh, added uh, Yawert to the system, and we installed a program using Yawert, and it and it uh, compiled something on the fly, and then we edited the theme. Okay, and at this point, we have a nice base system to work with, and I am going to actually save this virtual machine so that I can come back to this whenever I want to at this particular level. This way, I can go in and add new desktop managers, new window managers, and that sort of thing based on requests made by my subscribers. This way, if you want to see me, in, for instance, I uh, one of my good friends already wants to see Cinnamon on this, so 
that'll probably be one of the next things that I will do. But if you have any questions or comments, put them in the space below. I'll try my best to answer them. If you get RTFM, read the full manual. That means it's in the documentation and it's really easy to figure out. Okay. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Catch me on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. Yeah, that's what it is. And uh, I've got a lot more heading your way. Thank you for watching. Uh, I've had a lot of fun making this series, and there's going to be more heading your way. Take care.